Good afternoon. Welcome in and welcome back to another Wellness Wednesday. I'm Christy Gammon, your doTERRA wellness advocate. Thrilled as always to be here with you to wrap up today our Healthy Holidays mini series with part five. And this one's going to be short and sweet because here we are in Christmas week. We are making it down to these final days of the year. And I pray that you and yours are all finished strong this year because of the investments that you've made into your healthy lifestyle this whole year long. And so I wanted to just recap what we've covered throughout this series, um, because we did have a little break in the middle where we hit December promotion. So we started this series just before Thanksgiving to introduce you to just kind of a healthy plan for your holiday season. And we've been seeing it through these past few weeks. So the first part of the series was all about protecting your peace. Part two, we uh, did a deeper dive into the topic of deciding. We talked about decision fatigue and how that is real and what an impact you can have on your life if you decide and let your yes be a yes and let your no be a no, and just let your life flow from that. Um, the, the real uh, weight of the moment is in the deciding. And once you've made some core decisions, then you're free to work really hard on your goals, or you're free to rest really well, whatever that looks like for you, depending on what your decision was, or um making a lot of different decisions as we come into the holidays, especially. What do you want these holidays to look like and feel like? That's uh, what we covered in, under that topic. And then we looked at these past two weeks, a couple of significant gifts, one being the gift of health and the other being the gift of balance. And with that premise that I opened up with, if you're investing in your health, those foundations of health and those daily health habits all year long, then you come into the holidays from a place that really allows you to enjoy them fully. <clears throat> And the gift of balance, just determining as you come into this season, when am I going to work? When am I going to play? What is that going to look like? So you've carved out as best you can specific hours for those activities, and then you're going to dedicate those hours to those activities so that you can be where you are and strive for excellence and presence, depending on the moment that you're in, without bringing those feelings of guilt or stress back and forth. We don't want to have guilt while we're working. We don't want to have guilt while we're enjoying our family. We want to be truly present in where we are. And when you live into these principles all year long, and certainly all holidays long, and when it comes down to the big show of Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and New Year's, then you can really fully enjoy and so that brings me to our fifth and final part of this series, and that is the gift of family. And so I've pretty much already said everything that I wanted to say. I'm going to boil it down to these two points. When you prioritize your own health and you manage your time well, whether that's throughout the course of the year or over these holidays, then you are most fully able to enjoy your family and to be present when you're doing those things that you've decided that you really want to do with your family to make these holidays special. And so what has that looked like in our family? Um, we've been able to honor some traditions that we like to do every year. We've also been able to add in some new things that we really wanted to do. So um, for instance, as soon as I sign off today, Kate and I are going to be baking some of our favorite recipes and just delighting in spending the whole afternoon, just dedicating the whole afternoon to the fun of baking together. We did a new um, adventure last night, something that Kate had expressed she really wanted to do was to go on the walking tour of lights in downtown Columbus. So if you're local here in central Ohio and you haven't done the Scioto Mile and um, the Columbus Commons, that is really fun to walk through that area and take pictures and 
just have some good outdoor time. The lights are beautiful. It was cold last night, so we bundled up and then we went to a new place, which is something else we like to do. Uh, a new little restaurant that we had never been before and just order whatever they recommend off the menu as their specialty and see what we think. We had so much fun. Um, we really enjoyed that and just having the time carved out to do it was uh, very special for us. And so if you're spending time at home, just grab a favorite oil, put something you love in the diffuser. If you're not sure what to grab, go for an old favorite and add vanilla. And I promise you'll get um, just a delicious, sweet, cozy holiday feel just by adding vanilla to whatever fragrance you love and just kick back and enjoy. So um, that's all I want to say to you today. Just go and enjoy your family. Just soak in these last few days of the year and focus on what matters the most. Um, so Merry Christmas to you all and Happy New Year. I'll be back here in this space, um, kicking off a new season of Wellness Wednesdays on January 5th. So I'll have uh, the promotions that doTERRA is rolling out for January. And as always, some brief oil education and pro tips for you. Um, and in the meantime, enjoy. Here's to your continued health and wellness. God bless you all.